Emotions ran high among members of the Living Faith Church on Friday as a bid farewell to Bishop David Abioye upon his retirement. During a valedictory service held in his honor at Goshen Camp in Nasarawa State, attendees described Abioye as a mentor, a disciplined leader, and an icon of the gospel whose legacy will outlive him. Abioye's retirement aligns with the guidelines enshrined in the mandate, the operational manual of the Living Faith Church, otherwise known as Winners Chapel. A long-standing figure in the ministry, Bishop Abioye first crossed paths with Bishop Oyedeko in 1979 and has since served as his trusted right-hand man. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's have silence, please. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Thank you. Let's have some silence. As they used to say in uh, some of our traditional church where we were before, the Lord is in his temple. Let the heart be silent in his presence. The president and the apostle over this commission Bishop David Oedipo. Our very dear mother, Pastor Faith Oedipo. Co laborers, sons of the prophets in the house, all other protocols observed. I count it a great privilege given by my father, Bishop David Oedipo, and an honor to stand before this esteemed congregation who are gathered to honor us in this valedictory service. First, I give all glory to God, who by election of grace found me faithful and enabled me to serve in his kingdom on the platform of this Liberation Commission since inception. To me, adventure in ministry was not a subject of being desirous or having an ambition, but simply fulfilling divine purpose. Coming from an humble background, under my parents, I simply found myself growing up in loving God and the things of the kingdom. My biological father of blessed memory was a lover of God a lover of his kingdom. And tonight, my wonderful mother is also here in this service, as well as my mother-in-law and a great host of our family members from everywhere. Secondly, I appreciate my spiritual father, whom God has used tremendously in no little way to impart my life, my wife and I with grace till this moment. As a pastor over us, we have been well fed by the word of God. As a pastfinder, 
He has been used by God to guide us in the path of destiny as a trailblazer. He has inspired us in the pursuit of divine plan. And as a prophet, he has provided for us adequate covering in the journey of life. Meeting with him, God's servant, became like entering into a school and life transforming lessons have been learned. On this special occasion, it's my joy, therefore, to present this address, which I would like to begin by saying that there is no self-made man in life. And even though God is the one who makes people, he does so through the instrumentality of men that we see and relate with. Today, I sincerely acknowledge that such is the story of my stewardship in ministry under the tutelage of my mentor, Bishop David Oedepo, and on the platform of this Liberation Commission. Greatness is not a thing to wish, but a journey to make by following which by God's help, I've engaged myself since my first encounter with him in January 1980. Then I was 19 years old, or about to be 19 years old, which I believe from the foundation of the world was orchestrated by the Holy Spirit to fulfill divine purpose. Today, people look at me with admiration as a full-fledged duplicate of grace that is upon the life of my prophet, pastor, teacher, and mentor, Bishop David Oedeko. In a recently published book, In Honor of God's Servant, at the occasion of his 70th birthday, written by an erudite professor in Covenant University, titled, Treasures of Spiritual Gratuity, to which I was privileged to do a foreword. I had remarked as follows. It is important to understand that learning is more valuable than earnings. This is because life in itself is a compendium of daily lessons. What you earn is for your pocket, but what you learn goes not only into your life, but into your future. For me and my wife, lessons learned so far has provided for us security of destiny. As it is the aspiration of every son, I stand before this holy congregation with a deep sense of appreciation to God and his servant that the spirit of the commission and the grace upon his life has rested evidently on me. As it was with Joshua under Moses and Elijah under Elijah, which continues, which puts me in continuity in the path of exploits all the days of my life. As earlier noted in this address, my personal relationship with God's servant, which commenced even before the birth of the mandate, has spanned close to 45 years, covering several spheres of life, including ministry, our nuclear and extended families, social spheres, etc. This relationship is quite extensive and deep, 
and we shall continue to be a part of it by God's grace as we are as we engage in post-retirement activities in full submission to the guidance of the Holy Spirit as taught us over the years by our fathers and mentors finally to God's servant again the apostle over this commission my wife and I want to say a very big thank you as well to our beloved mother who has created an environment for us to serve God in this commission to all members to all members of the council of the ministry and its various extensions the management beloved pastors great co-laborers all administrative staff and indeed all members of the winners family we hereby express our hearty appreciation it's been a journey of building relationships with imprinted lasting memories all through and to all co-laborers in other ministries friends and other acquaintances who have come from far and near to grace this occasion we do not take your coming for granted we pray that the lord will abundantly reward you all and honor you in return he will as well grant everyone super safety in your journeys back to your destinations god bless the living faith church worldwide and all members of the winners family thank you for listening with deep love from our hearts for all amen